Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to use the retouch action. So this is with the action applied, and this is the before. So after and before. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this so we can start fresh. And I'm going to click on the background layer. Guys, make sure your image is completely flattened and you have the background layer selected. And then I'm going to click on the smooth skin and hit play. And then you're going to want to make sure to click on the black layer mask and have a soft white brush. You can either choose to lower the opacity here or you can choose to play around here. And um, I'm going to just choose to lower the opacity if I need to in the panel. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go over her skin. And as you can see, it's kind of smoothing it out and brightening it up just a little bit. I just love what it does. Over there. Okay. And then I'm going to crank it down to about, I don't know, 66%. So that's the before and after. And now I'm going to move on to the brighten skin and eyes. So I'm going to select that and hit play. Continue. I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to first hit the brighten skin. And it's going to come on a little strong. You can dial it back in the opacity um, over here if you'd like. Again, the soft white brush, 100% opacity. And I'm just going to paint that on. As you can see, it kind of blows her out. But I like having it on strong so I can see where I'm painting and then dial it back. So I'm going to go at about, I don't know, 32% look good. There we go. And I want to do the brighten eyes. I also like to use the brighten eyes on the teeth and brighten them up a little bit too. So I'm going to first run over her eyes. And then I'm going to run over her teeth. And if it doesn't do it for you and you want it even brighter, you can always hit Command J and duplicate the um, layer. But as you can see, she looks a little scary there. So I'm going to turn that off. And now I'm going to click on the brighten catch lights. Just kind of run it over her catch lights there and dial it back a little bit. So that's the before and after the brighten um, skin and eyes. And you can always come to the group layer if you'd like and turn it down. And you can also add a layer mask and mask off with a soft black brush wherever you don't want these areas if you wanted to do it as a group um, overall. Okay, now I'm going to come into the skin color correction and hit play. I'm going to open this up. I don't have to do a lot of work to her because her skin looks pretty nice there. Um, but if, you know, if she was outside for a while and her skin kind of took on like a reddish tone, you'd want to reduce the red or magenta. And some individuals have like more magenta undertones or more yellowish yellow tones. You can reduce and kind of balance them out. Um, so for her, I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow into her skin. Soft white brush, 100% opacity, and it's going to come on strong, but I will dial it back in the opacity there. So I'm going to crank that down to about 13%, and it just makes a very subtle difference. And now I want to go into the eye color enhancement. Hit play. Now you can either just increase the color tone of the eye itself with the color dazzle, it'll make it pop. Or you can choose one of these color undertones that I um, have selected here. And for her, I'm going to just increase the green a little bit. It's going to come on strong and then, like all the others, we will dial them back. And it just really makes them stand out. I just love it. So about 31% looks good to me, before and after. And now I want to go into the rosy chips and oh, chips, the rosy cheeks and lips. Hit play, open that up, and then I'm going to select the vibrant coral. And 100% opacity, soft white brush. Make sure you are clicked on the black layer mask. And she's going to look like a clown at first. And then I'm going to paint it on her lips too. There we go. It's like a three-year-old coloring, right, guys? <laughs> okay, and I'm going to dial that back quite a bit. 
I like to go to like a zero and then kind of work my way up and see where my eye likes it. And that looks good to me. If the lip comes on a little bit stronger um, than you would like, you can always lower the opacity of your brush, change it to black, and then you can wipe some of that off and make it a little bit uh, more subtle. So this is, I'm going to group this all together for you guys. This is the before and after with the action. And then the last thing I want to do outside of the action, but I do this on almost all my images um, to help get rid of like darker circles or like, you know, little weird things on the face. Um, I'm going to just group this to get or select it. Then I'm going to copy it and paste it. So it's going to bring all of this action into one layer. And then I am going to come over here, use the patch tool, and I'm going to kind of go over her darker circle there and just drag it and sample um, some of her other lighter skin. And it's really nice for blending. And then you can always decrease the opacity to make it more um, realistic. Take some of that off. And boom! There we have it. So group this together one more time to show you guys before and after. Really easy, super quick. You can find this action at www.storybuildphotography.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye guys.